Two types of lesser known pets that people keep, known as exotics, are guinea pigs and rabbits. Each of these species have similar needs with regards to food, housing, and care, and with a little love, their distinct personalities shine through, making them wonderful pets. Guinea pigs are small exotic pets best known for their weaking sound. They do well as either a single or bonded pair, and they are mild-natured, docile creatures that make excellent cuddly friends for parents or kids alike. Parents should always ensure proper care is being provided, and intact males and females should never be housed together. Breeding, whether it is done intentionally or not, can quickly snowball into an extreme situation. Economic supply and demand for pet stores causes breeders to provide terrible and unsanitary conditions. Socialization rarely occurs, making the guinea pigs frightened and skittish creatures. Animal hoarding situations will often arise from what is commonly referred to as backyard breeders. These breeders quickly become overwhelmed with caring for these creatures, eventually developing into medical conditions. Many times, animal control will be contacted by neighbors and friends to step in and seize the animal due to malnourishment and sanitation concerns. Say hello to Maggie. Maggie is one of my personal bunnies and has been with me for just over two years. She was dumped off at the SPCA by her initial owners after being purchased as an Easter Bunny gift. Bunnies should never be given as gifts, as they require a great deal of skill and should only be pets for experienced owners. Like Maggie, these poor creatures need our help and love in order to escape potentially abusive and harsh treatment that they could face throughout the world. These are the faces of their death. The following images may be too gruesome for some to see. In China, a horrific act has been committed upon this poor creature. This poor soul most likely lived a short life only to have its flesh torn away while it was still alive. After being placed on display, it can only pray for an eager customer to come along quickly and finally end the suffering that it has endured, as it serves out its final purpose as a dinner feast. Despite the volume of death that has occurred here, these creatures have at least been killed for the purpose of becoming food, and although I seriously disagree with the method upon which they are skinned and displayed alive, the fact that they are intended for food is at least a purposeful end. Even though these creatures are not generally seen as a source of food in this country, their accessibility is still high enough for them to be threatened by this possibility. After being in the animal rescue for, scene for as long as I have, it simply amazes me as to how something so cute and innocent can go from this to this. The sheer horrific gruesomeness involved leaves me speechless. How can anyone purchase a rabbit with something like this image intended for is beyond my scope of reasoning. Contributions from breeders and private citizens alike to the population must be seen as a threat. Quayas, or guinea pig, is a hot, sought-after delicacy in many South American countries. For this reason, concern must be taken when looking for new homes for these creatures. As in the case of a visiting South American, whereas they would look at this as a delicacy and on combination with due to the low costs that are being offered at a pet store or from someplace like Craigslist, we make it very easy for them to be picked up quickly. I understand that due to the cultural differences, everything I'm saying here would be frowned on, for instance, by a person from Brazil. However, I've been working with these little creatures for years to find them homes, not a plate to be served on. While here, why not embrace more Americanized food, such as hampers, french fries, I understand that's not so different us ordering a hamburger or a ripened Angus steak for a delicacy, but in the cultural differences, these animals are pets here. Of course, it's not just about someone purchasing one of these creatures for the purpose of food. It comes down to the responsibility of a current owner for the life of his pet. Releasing a domesticated rabbit or guinea pig into the wild only ensures certain death. These animals rely on you now. If you cannot keep them, please contact an organization to help you. Animal hoarding poses as much of a threat for guinea pigs and rabbits as it does for other animal species. State laws only take minor consideration for animals such as cats and dogs and completely disregard the more exotic creatures. Only a handful of counties will even set a limitation as to the quantity someone can possess.
networking and forum sites such as this, although meaning well, only add to potential situations of abuse. Since the buyer and seller have very limited interactions, this may inadvertently create an unfit environment for the creature. Not to mention for a low price, you could pick up an entree. Many non-for-profit organizations exist to help with an animal abandonment and neglect cases. Many more contribute by offering a wealth of information about local rescues, animal care, and even how to watch for medical concerns. With so many things available, there should be no reason why an owner cannot find help when needed. Some national chains have even begun to change their approach with regards to these animals and call for rescue organizations to provide animals or to come in and talk with customers about safer methods for the sake of the animal. Markets like PetFinder help to redirect the general public from the pet stores back to the rescues as well. I hope you take away a few lessons from this and be kind and be considerate of another life. Think adoption first when considering a new pet. Purchasing from a pet store only creates additional demand for which a supply must be generated. And of course, these creatures are pets and are not a source of food. Animal rescues provide a plethora of information for a potential animal adopter that will include continuing support should any concerns arise in the future. Please do the right thing and choose a rescued animal over a store-bought purchase. It is the best case scenario for all involved, ensuring that the animal and you are right for one another.